Welcome to our lecture online. Now we get into something a little bit more sophisticated. We're trying to find the percentile for a data range. In this case, the data range represents maybe test scores. There are 10 test scores. And so what is represented by the 10th percentile, the 20th percentile, and so forth, all the way up to the 90th percentile. So we have 10 data points. The total sum of all the data points is 810. So we can say that the average of the data points is 81. The range goes from 98 to 69, so a range of 29. And the formula that we're going to show you here is actually used by Excel on the data set like this. These are the percentiles that they would calculate via the Excel equations. So how does that work? Well, first of all, let's find the middle point right here. At this point, we realize we have 50% of the data points that are higher and 50% of the data points that have lower values. And so since there's a small data set, we take the values on either side of that boundary and we take the average and we call that the 50 percentile. So in this case, the 50 percentile would be the average between 80 and 82, which is 81. But now what do we do when we go to the 60th percentile that would be in this boundary right here because we have 60% of the data that have a smaller value and 40% of the data that has a larger value. What we don't do there is take the average between those two. What we do instead is we take the lower of the two values and add 40% of the difference. In this case, essentially what we're doing here is we're taking this value and taking 50% of the difference. That gives you the exact average but we no longer calculate the exact averages when we go away from the 50 percentile. So in this case, we take the lower of the two values. So remember that this here, this is the boundary that is represented by the 60th percentile. We take the lower value plus 40% of the difference between this value and the value on the other side of the boundary. 40% of the difference is 40% of 1, which is 0.4. Add to 82, you get 82.4. Then if we want to get the 70th percentile, <clears throat> what we do there is we take the lower value of the boundary and then we take 30% of the difference. Notice we go from 50% to 40% to 30% to 20% to 10%. We add 30% of the difference between the two values. So the difference between the two values is 4. 30% of 4 is 1.2. Add 1.283, we get 84.2. Now to get the 80th percentile. Notice we take the lower of the two values, 87, and add 20% of the difference. The difference is 1. 20% is 1 is 0 0.2. 87 plus 0 0.2 is 87.2. And finally, to get the 10th percentile, we take the lower of the two values and we add 10% of the difference between the two, which is 10. 10% 10 of 10 is 1. 1 plus 88 is 89. And that is how we find the 50th, the 60th, the 70th, the 80th, and the 90th percentile. Working our way downwards is kind of the same thing in reverse. So we find the boundary between, uh, between the two values that represent the 40th percentile. We take the larger of the two values and subtract 40% of the difference. So in this case, 40% of 1 would be 0.4. Subtract it from 80, we get 79.6. To get the 30th percentile, we take the larger of the two values across the boundary. We subtract 30% of the difference. The difference is 5. 30% of 5 is 1.5. Subtract 1.5 from 79, we get 77.5. Then to get the 20th percentile, we take the larger of the two values on either side of the boundary, 74. Subtract 20% of the difference, which is 4. 20% of 4 is 0.8. Subtract 0.8 from 74 you get 73.2. And finally, to get the 10th percentile, we take the larger of the two values, subtract 10% of the difference, the difference is 1, 10% of 1 is 0.1, subtract 0.1 from 70, you get 69.9. And notice, if you were to calculate this using Excel, you'd get the very same results, and this is where that formula comes from. So what they're doing is that if you get to the fringes of the percentiles, like 10th percentile and 90th percentile, they want you to pick that closer to the smaller value here and closer to the bigger value so they take less and less weight as you go out and that's kind of the smoothing factor that they use to calculate percentiles on such a data set and that is how that's done.